Shalom Daniel and welcome to the Moon Project. We here at the Moon Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to inspiration, information, education, guidance, and advice. And I have, over the next couple of videos, I'm going to do a series of related videos um, around um, Harav um, Iser Zalman Meltzer. This was the father-in-law of uh, Harav Aaron Cutler. And Aaron Cutler's son, Sharon Cutler, was uh, from Isser's, um, Isser Zalman's uh, grandson. And it was said that uh, the grandfather, the father of uh, father in law Rav Isser Zalman Meltzer, was so perceptive, was so sensitive, that he could look at a vessel, a pot, a whatever, a bowl, whatever, and he could ascertain if it had been titled, if it had been dipped into a mikvah, immersed in a mikvah prior to its first use. You get a new vessel, you're supposed to dip it in a mikvah before you use it first. Toiveling. All he had to do was look at a bowl, look at a pot, look at a mug, and he could tell, right off the bat, he could tell whether it's been titled. Um, he said that um, a keli, a, a vessel, that has been immersed in a mikvah has the ineffable name of Hashem on it invisibly, but we can't see the name. But someone who's on the uh, madrega, on the level of uh, Rab Isser Zalman uh, Meltzer, was able to see that. Someone of his stature was able to see it. Well, the story was told to the Briska Rav. And he hears this amazing story about this man who just looks at a, at a vessel and can tell whether or not it's been titled. The Briska Rav was unimpressed. He said, do you think this is something surprising? Do you have any idea who Rav Isser Zalman is? Do you even begin to understand his simple, mundane conversation? In other words, when one begins to fathom the greatness of Rav Issa Zalman, he's not surprised by his spiritual perception. In other words, when you're on that high a level, these seemingly miraculous events are run-of-the-mill, garden variety. I'm going to do a few more videos to flesh out um, the story of, uh, uh, of Rav uh, Issa Zalman uh, Meltzer. And uh, these next stories involve uh, uh, his son-in-law, the great uh, Rav Aaron Kotler, and the grandson, Shner Kotler. These people were great uh, on Rosh Yeshiva. They became, became heads of great academies. Please come back. Please listen. Please watch. Please learn. And um, until next time, on behalf of the Imuna Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.